In 1859, the Carrington event, a massive solar storm, caused disruptions in telegraph lines worldwide and brought an aurora visible as far south as Rome, a phenomenon now unimaginable. This event highlights the link between Earth's magnetic field and the Sun, which is responsible for auroras. While auroras are most often seen in the northern hemisphere, they also occur around the South Pole and on planets with magnetic fields. Auroras form when solar winds, composed of charged particles like protons and electrons, interact with Earth's magnetic field, which protects us from these winds by redirecting them toward the poles. Solar winds alter the structure of Earth's magnetic field, creating a magnetic tail, and can cause magnetic reconnection, allowing particles to enter Earth's magnetic field and spiral along the field lines. When these particles collide with atmospheric particles, they excite or ionize them, producing light that forms the aurora. The color of the aurora depends on the type of atmospheric particles involved, with oxygen emitting green or red light and nitrogen producing blue or purple. Auroras are not exclusive to Earth. They occur on all planets with magnetic fields, including Jupiter, where the auroras are permanent and mostly caused by particles from its moons, especially Io. Saturn also has auroras similar to Earth's, caused by solar wind interactions, while the auroras on Uranus and Neptune are less studied. Mars and Venus, despite lacking strong magnetic fields, show auroral phenomena linked to magnetic reconnection, and even Comet 67P has shown aurora-like activity.